Good evening everyone, it's John the Sea Monkey Dude and we're gonna do an unboxing video today. I got something in the mail that came in a Target box, reused, and it's funny, my wife brought it in and she said, what did you get from Target? And I said, ah, oh, it's probably not from Target. She's usually the one that shops at Target. And I started to open it and my kids came in the room and I said, you guys think you know what I got in the mail? I said, it's addressed to me. And they just looked at me and they go, sea monkeys? I'm like, yep, it's sea monkeys. All right. So we've got the amazing live sea monkeys nightlife gems set. So happy to find this online for a good deal. And uh, this is one that I sort of wanted for a while. And I saw it online a couple years ago for a good price. Back then, everything was a good price. And uh, I should have bought it back then. Um, and I didn't. And, uh, oh well, I got it now. But uh, no reason to dwell on the past. But yeah, you guys know everything cost less back then a couple years ago. Anyway, I don't think I overspent on this. Uh, by today's standards, I got a deal. So I'm happy with that. This is a huge box. Look at this. I mean, it's, like, compared to my head, it's huge. Uh, I was a little surprised when I opened it how big the box was. But it looks good. Um, it's got some really cool art on here. You can see these sea monkeys that are going out for a night on the town. They're going to go out to dinner or dancing or something or to see a show. I mean, he's, he's wearing a tux. They're going somewhere fancy. And his sea monkey bride is there, dressed nice, too. And, that, I mean, the unique thing with this set is that you get these gems right here that supposedly glow in the dark. Um, I haven't seen one of these in action recently. I think I've seen one video of someone showing it off, and I think they sort of glowed well. We're going to try it out. Don't you worry. Uh, we're going to open this thing up and take a look at everything in here. These gems look huge. I always thought that was sort of silly, but we'll take them out and see how they fit in here and see what we get. Before we rip this box open, take a quick look at it. It looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at the back too. We've got the Nightlife Gem story there. Looks like we've got some pictures of the contents of the box. One thing I noticed right here, we've got an aqua leash. It's yellow in the picture. Look, see that? That actually came with a purple one. I wish it was a yellow one. Not just because yellow is my favorite color, which it is, but if you've had the different colors of aqua leashes, the yellow ones are better than the purple ones. They're like thicker plastic or something. They, they work better, trust me. Uh, we can nerd out about aqua leashes later. But let's open this bad boy up, see what we got. Now, first thing I notice is the tape's broken here, so maybe this has been opened before. It looks like all the contents are there, so that's, that's good. The tape on the side is definitely broken. This does not look like it's been opened aside from that. Though. Let's pull this out of here. There we go. Done with that. Bye-bye. Okay. We got this. I like the, uh, the scenery in the back there. It looks like a nice cityscape at night. It's cool. This up. You guys know I'm not really into packaging. I appreciate nice art and packaging, but I think toys are meant to be open and played with. Not that this is a toy. I mean, they're marketed sort of like toys. These are pets, but uh, it's meant to be used. It's meant to house our pets. All right, this has not been opened. You can see this is sort of like a blister card. This is still glued on here really well. Everything's right there still, so fantastic. Let's uh, peel this open and see what we've got here. All right. Pull this stuff out and then I'll show you guys. Interesting. There's some instructions on this uh, thing here. Okay. I took it all out. Whoops. Got a couple packets hanging in here, so. And there we go. Not that I think. It's 
Packet number two is moist. Bummer. I don't know why that happens. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. I tore this apart. But take a look. Right there. You see that? Right underneath my finger. It says carefully add to tank when sea monkeys are 10 days old. So you don't put the nightlife gems in there right away, apparently. You do it later. And then it... It's sort of ripped, but they all say, I glow in the dark. We knew that already. Cool, though. All right, let's see what we got in here. So, we've got the Nightlife Gems. These are round pebbles, stones. I don't know what they're made out of. Some sort of plastic? I'm, I'm not sure. Super smooth to the touch. Feel nice. Relatively lightweight. I wouldn't want a sea monkey to get trapped underneath them. Uh, they look like they can lay sort of flat, so the top is sort of dome, the bottom is flat. But guess what? The bottom of the aquarium, the Ocean Zoo style aquarium, is not flat. So, we'll see. Alright, we've got our packets. Packet number one, water purifier. You guys know this. Packet number two, the instant live eggs. No sound. You know why? Because this thing is moist, it's wet. I can feel it's damp. These are no good. It probably wouldn't be good anyway because uh, this thing is old, I think. Well, this packet's got a 2010 date on it. Let's look at these other packets. 2010. <clears throat> 2010. I threw the box over here. I should have looked at the date on it. Hold, please. All right. I didn't even pause the video. Let's see what date is on this box. Also 2010. So this probably, you know, was sold in 2010 or maybe for a year or two after that. So 2011, 2012. So it's not quite as old as I thought. Um, this is from Big Time Toys. Uh, a lot of people have strong opinions about that toy manufacturer versus some of the other partners that the Sea Monkeys company, uh, Trans Science, has worked with. My personal opinion is I really like the Explorer toy brand who I think was right before Big Time Toys. Uh, they made some really cool products and quality products too. But uh, anyway, this is from Big Time Toys and it is a Sea Monkeys, you know, officially licensed product. So we're gonna keep taking a look here. This is interesting. We got the lid here. It's got the hole for the submarine searchlight. You guys have seen these. They've got the uh, yellow and green ones that are available on the website still for $8. Same thing. This one's a different color. Looks like this might even glow in the dark. I mean, the color of it looks like they glow in the dark plastic. Does not come with the batteries. We'll have to add some in there. I'll do that. We've got the lid, you know, with the hole in it so you can have the light shine through. Pretty cool. One thing that's interesting, I have to look at some of the other lids. It says Amazing Life Sea Monkeys on the bottom of it. Made in China. Interesting. All right, let's see what else we got. So so far, we've got the packets, we've got the stones, the nightlife gems, we've got the lid, we've got the submarine searchlight that goes in the lid. All right, we have got an aqua leash. It is purple. This is a little bit uh, nicer than some of the other purple ones I've had though. A lot of times on the purple ones, you'll notice this top part gets dented in really easily because the uh, the plastic is thin and cheap. And I hate to say it, but it is, right? So I will always give you guys my honest opinion, and I think a lot of times uh, the purple ones are thin, cheap plastic. This seems better, though. I'm able to push it easily. It's not, you know, caving in. Cool. A little bit better than I expected. And one thing I notice sometimes, too, is the hole... On the bottom of the aqua leash is really small. It's fine for baby sea monkeys, but when you get some huge ones, I'm scared if you try to suck them through that hole, you're going to break them and kill them. So a lot of times I'll take scissors and just sort of snip the end off of here and make that bigger. So if we end up using this, I'll probably do that. So don't need to do that today, though. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, we've got a yellow feeding spoon. Dual scoop. I like these ones. Let's see. A small end says Sea Monkey Food Cup. 
And then the big end says Sea Monkeys Plasma Measuring Cup. Pretty cool. That's what I use them for. I do use the big end for plasma and the small end for food. I don't need so many of these. I got the one I'm using is sitting right over here. So yeah, keep it on my desk. But we got another one. Cool. All right. We've got the aquarium itself. We've got a cool piece of cardboard with a nice graphic in it. This is cool. I'll probably save it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it says, Dancing Sea Monkeys Love Nightlife Gems. So later on, you know, we'll set this tank up and uh, we'll put the gems in there. I'm going to put them in 10 days after they hatch, uh, just like the instructions say. And we'll follow the directions and see, see how it goes. And I'll update you guys with a video uh, on how they like the nightlife gems and if they really glow in the dark or not. All right, there's more crap in here. Let's see what we got. Papers. Okay, we got a, three different pieces of paperwork in here. Okay, we've got the illustrated instruction sheet. I like this one. Really simple. Three steps. One, two, three. Fill it with water. Add in the purifier. Step two, put the eggs in. And then wait a few days and feed them. I think we all know that. On the back, we do have the heat chart at the top. I like that. And some helpful hints for uh, raising sea monkeys. Pretty standard stuff. This was not made specifically for this kit. We've seen this same instruction sheet, you know, in other kits too. Cool though. I like it. All right. I think I've seen this before. This is the instruction sheet for the submarine searchlight lid. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you guys, but basically it says put batteries in there, put this uh, the searchlight inside the lid, and then fold the thing down to light up the tank. We got instructions in a few different uh, languages here. Pretty cool. It takes two AAA batteries for anyone that was wondering, which I've got upstairs, so we will get some of those. All right. We got one more piece of paperwork here. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, this is cool. We've got history of sea monkeys. We've got a coupon. Should send it in to TransScience, see if I can get a dollar off my next order. Valid in Canada, U.S., and Mexico only. Well, I live in the U.S., that's good. All right. To be valid, this coupon must accompany your order... This certificate must be redeemed within 10 days. Within 10 days of what? Of me getting this? I got it in the mail today. So today is March 7th. 7th. Yeah, March 7th. That gives me until March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Send it in. I'll bet they would laugh their butts off if I sent that in. They get orders from me all the time, but I don't send them 13-year-old you know, coupons. <laughs> I usually order through the website. I've made one order through the mail. You guys probably saw a video on that. Uh, sea Monkeys have an ad in a comic book again for the first time in like 40 years. How crazy is that, right? And so I ordered from the comic book ad. Oh, wow. We've got all the different things you can order on here. I loved looking at this stuff when I was a kid. Oh, they all had such cool names. Like the Deluxe Microview Ocean Zoo Electric Ocean Zoo Showboat. Man, that always confused me when I was a kid. I was like, a showboat? Is it a boat? What is the thing? Yeah. And it's like a projector. You know, I think it's similar to uh, like that old circus kit. Not the really old one. Like the, old, the little bit old one. I think it's from the 80s. Oh, light up Ocean Zoo Aquarium cover. I think that's like what came with this. $4. It's $8 now. Seashell projector screens. $2. Those were on their website up until like a year ago. Still $2. I bought a couple of them. I want to tape them on my wall right there. If I can show you without messing up my video, I will. <laughs> it's that thing. I've got a couple of them. Uh, How many more? They must have sold out or something. But yeah, those are on the website for $2. Uh, I guess they're $2 the whole life of the product, probably. Sea Diamonds, $2. I've got a couple packets of those. I'll have to do a video. Million Bubble Air Pump, $3. I think 
gets 10 now. Well, Banana Tree, Aqua Leash, Red Magic, Original Sea Monkey Growing Kit. Pretty cool stuff. Professional Sea Monkey Hobby Center. Man, I wish I could go back in time and order all this crap and get my dollar off. <laughs> all right. Last thing to look at here the aquarium itself. This is a pretty standard uh, ocean zoo style aquarium. You know, they've been doing this shape for what, 50 years, 60 years? Something like that, right? Um, obviously, they do well selling aquariums that are this shape because they still sell these. I mean, the colors have changed, the shape is very slightly changed. Uh, the magnifiers, sometimes they change in the colors and stuff, but this one's got four magnifiers on it. Some have three, some have five. Some have them on both sides. We've got one that's like that. But they're pretty much the same thing. Usually the bottom sort of looks like a crater, sort of rocky, just like this. This one's, you know, clear at the bottom there. And, yeah, pretty standard take. Now here's the thing. You're supposed to put these in ten days after they hatch. These things are big. I mean, they're going to be leaning up on each other or banging against each other like that. stacked sort of. Yeah, um, which worries me a little bit. Adult sea monkeys might get trapped underneath there and uh, will die. I mean, that's why we don't put gravel in our tanks, a lot of us, right? Um, we'll try it out. I'll keep a close eye on them. I'll keep it right on my desk while I'm working so I can watch them like a hawk. Make sure they don't uh, do anything stupid and kill themselves. And we'll see if this thing actually glows. I'm excited to try this out. So be on the lookout for another video in a few weeks after we've started this. I need to get some more packets. I'm out of sea monkey packets. Can you believe that? These ones, I don't think are going to work. So they'll probably be pitched. But yeah, I need to get myself some more packets. I will start this up. And then we will put the Nightlife Gems in there 10 days later, just like the instructions say. And yeah, I'll do a video and show you guys how they're doing. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I've got a couple playlists set up on YouTube. So I've got one that's just got all my Sea Monkey videos. So pretty easy to go through them all. And I've got one that just show the two really big aquariums. You guys know I've got two big aquariums now, a 15 gallon and a 16 gallon. The newer one is the 15 gallon with the big castle in it. Lots of algae growing on it. Looks really cool, right? Uh, if you guys like those aquariums best, take a look at that playlist. You know, it's just videos related to that. Again, have a great night, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check me out on other social media. Pretty active on Instagram and somewhat active on TikTok, too. See ya.